Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Chit Chat Monday. Today I do not have tea with me. I have a smart water with um, emergency in it because I feel like I'm starting to get a little sick. I've had a sore throat the last couple days and I've just been really tired. Um, so I'm trying to kind of like chill out a little bit. I've been really stressed with work and you know just really busy with the shop and doing a ton of stuff. So I've kind of been wearing myself thin but um, I wanted to do a sit down chit chat with you guys today because I didn't the last two weeks. It's been forever. Um, last week, well last weekend, uh, Saturday through Monday, we went, Austin and I, my boyfriend that I live with, um, we went up north to visit his family and just kind of like spend a night just in the area, just exploring, having fun, relaxing a little bit. Um, so I wasn't able to do a video. And then, yeah, the week before, I was working all Sunday on stuff, on like designing things, and it was um, a lot. It was a catch-up work day, so I was like, you know, I just don't have time right now. <laughs> um, but I am back today on Sunday, and this week we have some exciting new release, well, new releases and a restock that's always requested. Oh, I got, I got a little, a little dangly bobber. So we have, also I'm in a different chair today. I'm in my swively like office desk chair, which is kind of fun. Um, more a little bit more mobile. <laughs> and um, okay, so focus. <laughs> Friday, this Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the main shop, just like usual, um, I have the Versailles kit is coming back, which is always much requested. Um, this time it's coming back because a lot of people were saying they want to use it for the royal wedding. So I want to have plenty of time for you guys to get that if you want to use it for that. Um, it would be really, really pretty for that. And also, um, it's just always a popular kit to bring back. Like, I had a lot of requests to bring it back. So, it's coming back. Limited edition stock. Limited edition? Limited restock, I guess. Because it'll only be stocked ones. If it sells out within 24 hours, obviously, you guys know the drill. I always restock. But it will not have an additional restock. So, yes, there's that. And then, um, we also will have a new kit called Backyard Picnic. It's a clip art kit, and it's really cute. It's just very, like, fun and clip arty. I don't know. It kind of reminds me more of like some of the older kits, but also with a little bit of a newer style. Uh, I'll have that preview on Instagram. And if you're already signed up for the newsletter, you will be seeing that as well, either today or Monday. You'll see the full kit in the email. So definitely be sure to sign up for the um, newsletter, month email newsletter. It's a weekly newsletter that goes out. Um, if you want to know everything ahead of time of that that's going up that week, all of the kits, you can see everything in detail and so yeah so that's a good one and then we also will have which i'm so excited about and i'll ramble more about it towards the end of this video but in case you don't want to hear the rambling i'm just getting all the new releases now um we will have a new notepad that i designed it's like a to-do list for the day and you have a top three priority section you have a to-do section and then you have a section for like upcoming um and the upcoming one is like when i'm more like open to change and stuff like that like mix up and things but that is how I like to re like structure my day. Um, I've kind of been falling in and out of love with my um, Erin Condor planner just because I just focus on to-do lists. Like, I just have to-do lists. And I know that I can do that in my planner. But um, I don't know. I've just been kind of jotting it down on my phone lately. Like, my to-do list for the week. Because I can, like, edit it and move things and change things around. So, I don't know. I'm kind of in, like, a transition for planners, I feel like. Um, I may even like, I've been playing with the idea of making my own inserts that will kind of fit more like my planning style, which may be something that you guys would like as well. Um, just cause something that's not really out there maybe. Uh, I've been playing with that idea. I've been playing with a lot of ideas. I'm moving, like I'm still doing all stickers like normal, but also expanding that, you know, as you guys have seen with some washi and I have more washi coming up. Um, I'm working on some of that today as well. And more post-its that come out I think like every once a month I or is it once a month I release post-its I think it's once a month I have new post-its that go up in the shop well sticky notes and um yeah and now I'm doing these notepads and fun fact so okay first of all before I get into the little story but if you want to see what they look like head over to my Instagram because I already posted it and you guys have been loving it thank you so much for the sweet feedback I don't know where that accent took me or what it was but Thank you so much because it means a lot to me. It's something that I love making like those types of things. And it's a good way I think to expand the collection. You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have some more real talk towards the end of the video if you want to like stick around for that. But so yeah, so that will be up all up on Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, but the fun little story real quick was that I originally started um, an Etsy shop to sell notepads. 
and I was selling a notepad I'm designed that was like a to do type like notepad uh, and I was selling it on what's the other site it's um what's it called not Shopify because I didn't have my own website for that yet it was I don't I don't know eventually I'll remember maybe so it's on a different site like a selling platform and then I said you know what actually I think Etsy may have this kind of stuff and I looked up that and it was definitely there there's all kinds of stationery so that's what I was selling before right before I started my sticker shop um, and I still had them up in the beginning of my sticker shop so that's kind of what I'm doing kind of customized like I'm designing these notepads <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with it but I'm designing notepads, I'm loving it. Um, and so they're pretty big as well. They're five by seven, in case you're wondering, and they are 50 sheets in them. And I, they're pretty heavy stock paper. Like you could see through them if you like lift it up, look at the other side, but it doesn't bleed through with, um, I used the Enjoy, uh, Enjoy, Paper Mate Enjoy gel pens. Those are the ones I tested it with and they're pretty like liquidy and bold. Um, and you couldn't, there was no like bleeding through or anything like that, which is good. And so yeah, so it's, it's nice. It's really nice paper. And um, so I'm thinking about making varying sizes. Like I could make smaller ones that could like be hole punched. So people were saying hole punching them and putting them into your planner. And I was like, that's an amazing idea for like a ring bound system. Um, or like someone was even saying, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Laminating it and putting it in her, oh my God, I sneeze. I'm putting it in her planner. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> Moving on. Um, so she was saying laminating it and putting it in her um, ring bound planner and I thought that was a great idea. She was doing her personal. These ones might be a little big for that but she's thinking about trimming it. But I made you like smaller versions as well if you guys like them and to do them in different styles, different layouts and formats. Like I think it's a really really exciting thing and I really love it because I am always looking for a notepad somewhere to grab to jot down my to-do list. And I think if it could be something that helps you structure out your day where it's just you have the whole notepad for the day you know I might add a section for appointments or things like that based on your feedback like what kind of things you have on a day-to-day -day basis maybe I'll make like teacher ones that, that would be really cool um, or ones for students or um, just various maybe like a mom one like mom life I don't I'm not sure I'm not a parent so I'm not sure what you guys would need for that or teachers but I have some teacher friends I could ask um, but yeah, so that kind of thing. I think it's going to be really cool. Like, I just think it's a really cool idea to use in addition to planning if you want to pre-plan um, before you write everything in because I know I, I, that's the part that gets me sometimes is I write everything in and then I want to move things around and it's really frustrating when there's scribbles everywhere and I'm like, Ugh, you know, because you like, want it to look pretty anyways. So, I don't know. I'm just trying out different stuff and seeing what sticks. And um, yeah, I'm really loving it. I'm having a lot of fun. I wanna do like a different collection of sticky notes and having them in like a box set that you can buy, like based on some of my like best selling kits, doing like a accompaniment, like matching sticky note box set of like four different types of sticky notes or with washi, like having a different like, um, I'm thinking about working on like a washi box, like not a, not a monthly subscription or anything, at least not yet, unless it's something you guys want, like a washi subscription where you get one roll of washi every month. That would be super fun, um, like a reoccurring subscription because they're not expensive, you know, so it'd be a pretty like inexpensive um, subscription to have. It'd be like $5 with shipping probably. And so that'd be good. I just literally thought of that idea. So <laughs> right now on the spot. So let me know if that's something you guys would like because I would love to do something like that. Um, and just have an ongoing subscription of like washi or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys like. I know sticky notes are kind of something that like everyone like has sticky notes or they get them in subscription boxes already or um, with kit mystery kits and things like that. So I know it's not like a super popular option for people. It's something they'd want separately. Um, so I understand that. But I think washi, you guys really loved the black floral washi I did. So I want to do a lot more different types of cool washi. Um, so something I'm thinking about, I'm working on, I'm playing with. Um, I like the idea of moving into some other things as well. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting real talk now. <laughs> real talk for our weekly chit chat. I feel like I've definitely noticed um, more of like a decline in sales for sticker kits over the last, I don't know, like five or six months. And I've seen a lot of people that are either a just not no longer into planning anymore with stickers like it's just got too expensive or just kind of fell out of it you know it's like a hobby you know um they it's not something that they're passionate about anymore which totally understand and a lot of people that are also just can't justify the price anymore you know like 
me included, spent so much money, like the first couple years of planning on um, various stickers and like all this stuff is so exciting and fun and it was like really booming. Now I feel like people aren't wanting to spend as much on stickers. Um, like they're kind of cutting back a little bit more, maybe doing more white space, moving to smaller planners, or just not really buying like the full, you know, $20 kits every week anymore. Um, we still have a lot of people that do, but I, I think that it's just kind of moving away from that a little bit more and more towards like functional items or pieces of things again, like back to, to the white space planning. Let me know if you feel the same way down below. Like I'm curious. I haven't seen anyone else talking about this, like shop owners and stuff, but I have noticed a lot of shop owners, a lot of shops just doing a lot more sales lately and a lot more coupons, and a lot more freebies and stuff like that. And I mean, me included, you know, trying to like drum up sales a little bit more, like beef things up a little bit so you can still like, you know, keep moving forward. Um, but I, I feel like, I don't know. I think that the, like, it's changing a little bit. Like, I kind of wonder if the trend of, like, the sticker trend is moving and changing. I mean, it's always moving and changing, like, for various types of kits. Like, you know, it was um, a lot of no white space clip art kits, and then we moved into more, like, realistic clip art or kits with fashion girls and things, and that was huge. And then we moved more photography kits, and I feel like photography kits are getting really big, and foil is huge still. Foil's been growing, I feel like. So it's interesting seeing the trends and how things are changing and moving, but I do feel like the full kits just aren't selling as much anymore. And so I don't know, but my mini kits are definitely selling better than before. Um, and I feel like the things that have really been lately selling well that I've been, when I've been doing with the wash, it was selling super well. Um, just more like functional type items. I feel like I did something else too functional, like, like, like stationary type items that were selling well as well as well as well. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe inserts or something that's a little bit more permanent that like people will always want to use versus more of like a trend and the trends that ebb and flow. I'll never stop making stickers. Like I'm definitely not saying that. But um, I I'm just curious. Like what are you guys into now? You know? Because I've had a lot of like my majority of my customer base is repeat customers. I don't get a ton of new customers. Um, and if they do, they typically turn into repeat, which is amazing. Um, that's like the best case scenario. So I, from the beginning, has my most of my business has been done with repeat customers, which I value and cherish, you guys. <laughs> like, I love you guys so much. And I see the same names kind of like coming through, like every week or every other week or every couple weeks. And I see you guys on Instagram. And I'm always like, hey, girl. Like, I just like, I, I recognize your guys' names all the time. Like, every time I'm going through orders, I'm like, oh, she got this. Oh, nice. I know she's been wanting that. Like, she said on Instagram she wanted to pick that. Like, I see your guys' orders come through every week. Um, so I have a lot of repeat. But I have noticed a lot of my repeat customers from the beginning are not really buying anymore. And I've reached out to a couple of them because they kind of just disappeared off Instagram. And I was like, are you all right? Like, I'm worried about you. I've been following you on Instagram for like the last two years and you haven't posted in the last like six months. I'm like, are you, like, is everything okay? Like, are you, are you good? And then, you know, they are, thank God. And then, so then they're just like, I'm not into it anymore. It's like, oh, okay, well, at least you're like, all right. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think a lot of people just kind of are kind of, you know, ebbing and flowing with a different you know, their passions and things they have time for. Life gets busy and, you know, kids have expensive things. Children are expensive, I hear. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I just wonder, just kind of, it's just my ramblings. These are ramblings I have with myself often. So it's kind of like interesting to share them with you guys. I feel a little bit vulnerable talking about it, but I think it's like, I don't know why, like there's no reason to feel that way. Like I feel like I want to be open with you guys. So I don't know, I'm kind of moving more towards stationary type items. Um, I'm working on like, I've been painting my own stuff a lot more, I've been trying to. It takes a lot more time, um, it's a lot more time consuming, but I've been wanting to do more like custom type, type of stuff and things like that. So I don't know, I'm just thinking things, thinking things out loud. Um, but I'm thinking I want to move, I even thought about going towards foil stuff a little bit, but I think that the foil stuff would be very time consuming for the quantity that we need, we need to produce. And I feel like it's a very saturated market now. Like I feel like there's a lot of shops doing foil and they're doing them really good. So I just don't feel like I need to throw my hat in the ring. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's somewhere where I need to be. Like it, there's nothing being un, like I don't feel like there's any needs being unmet there, you know? if that makes sense. 
Um, so I have thought about inserts a lot. Like I have been really thinking about that, designing some inserts. I'm not really sure how I would like manufacture those myself. Um, I guess I could just use like a paper cutter. I don't know. I do a lot more research and learn how to do it. Um, and do a lot of tests. It would be a long way out, but like I, it's something I definitely have considered some inserts or just more notepads, more stationary types items that fit everybody's life that you don't have to have a specific type of planner for, or you don't have to have like specific types of, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does that make sense? More functional, more multicolor items and kind of building up the multicolor like individual sheets. It cut me off again, but yeah, building up more multicolor and functional sheets and washi, sticky notes, notepads, maybe inserts, just more stationary type items. Let me know what you guys think. I also have an online store already with stationary type items, jessicahearts.com, but those aren't like customized. The ones that I would be doing um, on the Etsy would be ones that I like design myself, you know? Um, so yeah, I've been thinking things, just thinking things out, you know, washi boxes, washi subscriptions, or sticky note box sets, or, um, you know, inserts, I don't know more notepads for sure you guys seem to really like that we'll see how sales go on friday if you guys really like it or not but um so far from the feedback you guys seem to really like them so that's exciting so yeah i guess that's it for the chit chat monday i hope you guys have a wonderful week and are having a fabulous sunday it's sunday today when i'm filming this we're about to go to the farmer's market i think they open soon um but yeah those are my ramblings but i'm not gonna stop stickers ever i don't think i'd ever stop stickers um, I just kind of want to start doing more things like if I am not selling as much in stickers as I used to maybe there's something else that you guys would prefer you know uh, that I could design and and it's kind of one of those things it's like I love designing kits and I love designing stickers but it's fun drawing something new you know it's fun designing something new like washi which is new for me or notepads which are new for me um, I, I think it's a good way to branch out and expand and grow a little bit. So yeah, let me know what you guys think below. I always value your opinions so much. Um, and also let me know down below if there's any kits you'd like to be brought back because I've been enjoying doing these limited restocks for like very popular kits. Um, so let me know if there's any that you'd like to be brought back that I've done in years past. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, a fabulous week. Look out for the email newsletter if you are subscribed to it. And if not, I'll leave the link down below and I will see you guys soon. Bye.